in an English medium school in Mumbai, kids were asked to write essays on characters they adored or thought of as their role models. Interestingly, almost 80% of the children chose Santa Claus for their essays. Now the question is, why did these kids, who mostly belong to Hindu families and were living in a Hindu majority city where the Christian population is less than 5%, choose Santa Claus as their favorite character? If you are a Hindu parent, this question must alarm you. We know that the whole system is rigged against Hindus and Hinduism and there are not any signs of things improving in the near future. But this does not mean that we should leave our children in a vulnerable state as easy targets for predatory ideologies. Fortunately, there is an easy way to protect our children. Stories. We have lots of them. We have stories to expound on each and every facet of life. Hinduism is filled with stories that are extremely helpful in fine-tuning our moral compass based on age-old civilizational wisdom. And the best part is, children love these stories. Stories of unique children like Dhruva, Markandeya, Nachiketa, Bhima, Shri Krishna and others instill in our children values like bhakti, valor, perseverance and respect for elders. Such stories, full of our ancient civilizational knowledge told during bedtime, seep into the subconscious and become a part of our personality. Just telling the story of Vishwamitra, for example, could teach children about how a ruler should be kind and non-covetous, the value of Gaumata, the spiritual prowess that our rishis had, the value of a guru, how anger ruins hard-earned wealth and tapas, how truthfulness always triumphs, how undeserving desires lead to Trishanku Swarga, and how one person's genuine search for achieving Brahman leads to generations of people being able to derive the benefit of such an achievement via the Gayatri Mantra. Imagine the character building, the personality of a child who learns about Dharma by listening to such stories every day. It is a well-known fact that Jija Mata taught little Shivaji about the protection of Dharma and Desha through stories from our scriptures like the Ramayana, the Mahabharata and the Upanishads. He went on to become one of the tallest rulers of our country who protected Bharat from the wildest of invaders. We even taught our kings how to rule via these stories, as is evident in the stories our rishis and sages told Sri Rama and Sita Mata and the Pandavas during their respective vanvas. Characters were molded and princes were taught about the importance of having good advisors and friends through stories, as we see in our Panchatantra stories. They were so powerful that even the great Chanakya pays obeisance to Pandit Vishnu Sharma in his Arthashastra. A small story of the Panchatantra comes to mind. It is the story of four friends, a crow, a deer, a tortoise and a rat. The hunter catches the tortoise in a net and its friends come to its rescue. When one reads the story, one is struck by the artful way in which the future kings were told to have friends who were airborne, live on land, live in the water, and even live underground. We see that armed forces around the world protect nations on land, air, and water. Hindus have been nurturing their children's characters using their own stories for ages and there's no need to stop that process now. In fact, it is more than ever needed so that we can protect our children in a hostile system. Let us read our children some Hindu stories. This is Rati Hegde for Upward.